Good morning, everyone. Sorry I had to take another sick day. Our babysitter is sick, but I'll be in school later today if you guys have any questions. Um, but today, kind of just wrapping up our electric house project, uh, kind of going on to the next step, and then preparing for our quiz, which we'll take in our next class. So, got a few things for you guys to do today, um, and we'll go over that here. All right. So kind of as I mentioned, the first like 20-ish minutes, want you guys to be able to finish up your guys' houses. Um, I know for a lot of you guys, you guys are pretty much there. Um, again, the goal is you should have two rooms. Each room has at least one light. Each light has one switch. Um, and each switch should be able to turn the light on and off, um, preferably individually, meaning uh, one light shouldn't turn off both. Or sorry, one switch shouldn't turn off both switches. Um, it should only control one light at a time. So uh, make sure you guys can finish that. And then within those 20 minutes, um, you guys can add any decorations if you like, add some furniture, um, if you just have some extra time. Um, and what I would suggest is when you guys feel like you're done, uh, take a picture of your house with your group. Now, um, these houses weren't just being made for fun. Right, there was a learning component to it, and we're going to continue using these. And in order to go to the next step, you guys will need a blank piece of paper each. Um, now, this part will be part of our quiz. We're just going to be doing this ahead of time. So I'll explain a little bit more. So start, grab a blank piece of paper. What you guys are going to do is each individually, you're going to look at the circuit that you created for your house and you're going to draw it out on paper, right? So basically taking this 3D circuit that you have and you're going to draw it out on paper. One suggestion I have is use some colored pencils to kind of sketch out each um, colored wire that might help you guys kind of visualize which wire is going where in your circuit, All right? Now, um, let me give you an idea. When I say sketch out your circuit, all right, let's say we're starting with your guys' batteries, right? So you have a certain amount of batteries. Some of you guys have one battery, some of you guys have two, maybe some of you guys have three, right? And those batteries generally are connected in a series, right? And then coming out one of the batteries, right? It should, in theory, be connected to a switch. All right. And then that is then connected to a light bulb. Right. And then from there, right, you're completing your circuit. Where do the wires go from there? Right? Is there a, another wire that's coming out from it and then connecting to another light bulb? All right, something like that. Is there a switch within that? Um, are they just connected in a series, right? And a series would look something like this, right? Uh, it's really up for you guys to determine what that circuit looks like. So um, that's the goal after you guys have finished your electric house and you guys are doing that individually. Uh, but generally your circuit should look about the same. You would hope. Now, uh, here's kind of the key piece. Now, I mentioned that this is going to be part of your quiz. You're actually going to be submitting uh, this circuit diagram as part of your quiz. This is the level four question. So you guys are basically doing the level four question ahead of time. All right. Um, now, this is kind of the key piece. Um, the low four question requires you to draw the circuit um, of your electric house and calculate how much voltage each light bulb is receiving and calculate how much uh, current is going into each light bulb. Now, um, you could do this mathematically and today's uh, worksheet will kind of help you with that. Um, one kind of resource you could use, we're not calling cheating because it's a resource that you can use, is you guys can use um, the little online simulation 
um, that we've been using to build our circuits. Because what you can do is once you have your circuit drawn out on paper, you can recreate that circuit in the online simulation. Now again, there's a link there. We've used it previously. That link will also be in today's worksheet. Um, let me pull up the one that I'm talking about. adjust uh, your circuit you want to make sure that you are kind of matching the different voltages that we have Something like that. all right and then create your circuit Make it look like it does on paper. All right. And then for your working circuit, I'm just going to leave it, just draw kind of a simple one here. You can use your voltage meter to calculate how much voltage is going into them. And your ammeter. you can use to calculate how much current is going through them. So two different ways to go about calculating voltage and current going into each light bulb. Um, you can simply just use the different rules that we've learned about voltage, current, and resistance in series and parallel circuits. We took notes on that. You also do a little bit of practice with the worksheet today. Um, or you can use the online simulation to recreate your circuit, make sure that you um, adjust the batteries to be producing the same voltage that your batteries in real life are, um, and that will help you kind of find those calculations. Right. All right, and then finally, I mentioned a couple times, we have a little worksheet that we're going to do today. All right, call it the Ohm's Law Worksheet. It is pretty straightforward. It looks like this. Uh, on the first page, it just has a little table here, right? We have many different formulas that are based on of Ohm's law. Um, there's a little formula wheel that you can reference over here. So for example, uh, let's say for this first one, right? You have voltage is already calculated for you. Uh, current is calculated for you. Resistance calculated for you. It's asking you to calculate power. All right, power is over here. There's three different formulas you can use to calculate for power. All right. There is current times voltage. All right. There is current squared times voltage, and there's voltage squared divided by resistance. Now, three different formulas, obviously in this case, I would choose the easiest one, right? which would simply give us all right, power equals current times voltage, which in this case, I know the current is 0 0.9, all right, and that was given here, and I know the voltage, which is 9, right, and I'm getting that from over here, and I'm just multiplying those two together to give me my answer, right? And then nine times 0.9 is simply going to give me 8.1 watts. Right. And I'm essentially just filling in the chart uh, using those different formulas. Again, um, many different formulas for each one. You just kind of choose the one that you're able to solve for. All right, so that's the first page. Uh, our quiz on Monday is essentially going to be exactly the same. You'll have the formula wheel. Uh, it's open notes. It's just going to be different numbers on the chart.
Okay. On the back, it's going to ask you to create a parallel circuit, right? Which we've talked about before, right? It's going to look something like this, right? With your light bulb, right? Um, and it's going to give you some of the variables, like a nine volt battery, um, going to give you current, it's going to give you the resistance of the different bulbs, right? And then just like you did on the first page, right? You want to use the numbers that you're given and your series and parallel rules um, to help you solve for these questions. Um, and then finally, if you have time, kind of going back to this circuit uh, lab, um, you're going to use that to kind of help you um, calculate the voltage current, etc. I'll say the first page and this question number five, those will all be on the quiz. They'll just be different numbers, right? Kind of getting that all right is going to give you the level three. The level four question is again, creating the circuit of your electric house and then finding the voltage and current um, of your two light bulbs. So once again, you can already knock out the level four question ahead of time. Obviously to get the level four, you still need to do the um, other parts of the quiz, but that at least gets you a little bit ahead of the game. All right. If you guys have any questions, um, I'll be around later in the day and I'll be around on Friday. So you can come find me or just send me an email.